like, I've never asked for this. Like, whose present is this really? Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. So today, John and I went over to Goodwill, but one of them actually changed a lot and now it's an outlet store. And so that was kind of like a big surprise when we walked in. So I'll show you the footage from that. They changed the way that they do stuff at their Goodwill. They still have some items. It's not as much. They sell stuff by the pound now. Sold by the pound. I've never seen a Goodwill like this. We're at another Goodwill because the other one sucked apparently. It's an outlet store now. And they didn't really have much stuff. <laughs> See, this is the good kind of Goodwill. And then after that, we ended up going over to TJ Maxx. We went to Five Below, just kind of like walking around and shopping. I just kind of wanted to get out of the house a little bit before I have a lot of schoolwork to get done. Um, but I got some more of the MCT coffee flavor stuff. I forgot my ring, which I don't know if any of you guys ever do that, like forget your wedding ring or something, but it feels weird when you're walking around without it. What else did I get? Oh, we went to Starbucks today. I love when they put the like the sippy cup sort of a lid on, um, but I got the venti cold brew, heavy cream, sugar-free vanilla. That's kind of my go-to order lately, especially because it's been so hot outside. Mm. So good. So I'm gonna sip this. I'm gonna go through my planner and kind of figure out what work I need to get done today, what work I need to get done this week for school. And sorry, Maple's over here. It's dark, but chewing on her bone. So hopefully some coffee and being productive and planning out my week and I won't feel stressed out because I'm the type of person that like I need to have a plan, to have goals, and to have everything like set out in front of me like on paper. Because if not, I get overwhelmed. I start to feel like, oh my gosh, so much stuff I need to get done. When you have it all planned out for yourself, then you're like, oh, I only need to do this one or two things today, and then tomorrow is a new day. I only worry about what I need to do today, and it makes everything feel um, much less stressful. Anyhow, I had a really small breakfast, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat something. Oh, I do wanna show you this keto bread that I got at Aldi. It's zero net carbs. For the longest time, every time I would go to Aldi, I could never find it, but for the past couple times I've ordered Instacart, they have had it, so I got this one. It's really nice because I do like the option of sometimes brown bagging my lunch and making myself a sandwich, or if we wanted to have a piece of toast with a meal, I don't know, just something like that. It's nice having the option of having bread. So if you're curious as to what it is, the first ingredient is, is modified wheat starch wheat protein isolate oak fiber vegetable fiber so they use a lot of fibers so I know that technically this wouldn't be something that you would eat if you're like strict like super strict keto for dirty keto and something we have every now and then it's been okay so everything in that aspect has been really good but I've been so preoccupied with school and with work um, that I'm just not really focused so much on you know the weight loss aspect of it right now I'm just like let me eat the foods that I'm supposed to eat whether or not I'm having one or two too many snacks I'm just like you know what let me stress on one thing at a time and right now it's been school my online school speaking of I'm procrastinating and I need to start figuring out my plans and getting my score done so I'll catch up later Hello guys, so it's the next day. I went to church this morning, which was awesome. I've missed going to church. Even though we're having an outdoor service and it's pretty hot, it's still nice to like be with my church family and to see everybody and to get together and I miss them a lot. Uh, we are having our like women's get together. It's our lift group meeting tonight at the church at like 6.30 in the parking lot. So I need to get some schoolwork done so that way by the time I get to the group, I don't really have to like be 
stressed out about the fact that I still have to do some sport tonight. So that gives me like mm, three and a half hours to get like at least one or two assignments done. Okay, you guys, let's do some schoolwork. Hopefully it is not shaky, but right now I'm on my way over to church for our lift group meeting, which is pretty much just all the women coming together. And a lot of times there's things that we talk about, like events that are going on, or, you know, it's just pretty much like a fellowship thing. And so this is the first time that I'm going to one of these groups since COVID has been around pretty much. So I'm excited for that. I feel like I haven't fully been like involved in church that much ever since COVID started and it's really something that was on my heart that I wanted to do before all of this so now it feels like this is definitely the time because who knows how long COVID's gonna be around yeah I think it's about time it started raining really bad I waited to pull out the camera until I came to this red light but they said don't let the rain stop you that they're gonna get together under the carport let's hope that this rain lines up i had such a good time at lift group you guys oh, like only 12 people were there all together socially distanced under the carport but it was just so nice to be somewhere where like okay work is nice because yes i'm around adults as well as kids and i'm around people and it's like a sense of normalcy which is great but what was really nice about going to like the lift group was the fact that it was like coming together to be social and to find out what each other's needs are. <coughs> and like now I'm all raspy and like congested because we were outside while it was literally raining for like an hour and a half, two hours. But totally worth it. Sorry, if you hear that ticking, that is the toaster oven that is cooking the sausage. I mean, something quite obvious, but I guess I never realized how important it is to me is just being social. And I really haven't been very social in the past five or six months now. Coming together and talking and um, everybody going around the circle and talking about not only like what their prayer requests are but what's going on with them in their lives and what personal needs and things that they just really needed to talk about and it was kind of like a therapy session for most and there was laughter there was tears there was just like a lot of emotions and it was really nice I feel like women meet other women's relational needs a lot differently than how you know like a husband and wife would help each other's relational needs like husband and wife very very important those relational needs and that relationship very 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 important but women lifting up women is also so important so i'm hoping in this coming year that i can be a lot more involved even though like sometimes i feel so overwhelmed like i have way too much going on i sometimes i have that like there's too much on my shoulders feeling like working classes you know trying to do what i feel like a wife should do in her household it feels like juggling sometimes as well as like trying to do stuff and be involved at church but you know there was that thought in my head like whether or not i should go just because i knew i had a lot of schoolwork to do but i'm like you know what let me push let me get this schoolwork done and then let me just go because because i really needed it I never regret spending time with my church family. So even though I know I feel like it's a balancing act all the time, it's really worth it. She's the it girl, the one to know. Out of your dreams, she makes it known. She's alien, but no one knows what I know. Hey guys, so that footage was from this morning because John surprised me yesterday with a Nespresso. And I'm sorry if you hear lawn mowing people, but you guys, this is so cool. Okay, so there's been a lot of vloggers that I've watched that have talked about the Nespresso and it makes like espresso, it makes coffees, but the coffee that John made last night was like in a little espresso and it was so good. And the coffee that I had this morning I accidentally made an espresso, like a double espresso, but delicious. Hopefully I don't look too much like a hot mess. Wearing a mask all day 
really messes up your makeup and you're probably like why I'm why are y'all mowing you're probably wondering Brittany why do you wear makeup if you're just gonna wear a mask and nobody can really see it well unfortunately a mask doesn't cover your under eye bags or your circles or discoloration so yeah I still wear my uh, my mask I mean my mask my makeup guys I'm all over the place let me show you the mug that I am using this is actually not the Nespresso I don't even know if I'm saying it right um, I actually just went ahead and made myself a K-cup because yes I do love my K-cups they're not as good but they're cheaper if we buy a bunch of those little Nespresso pods I'm probably still gonna be drinking the Keurig stuff just because like I want to save a little bit of money and this is cheaper how many of you guys have actually completely gotten rid of your Keurigs let me know in the comments because I mean it really comes in handy for heating water really fast I don't know but then do we really need two different coffee makers because yeah we've had We've had the Keurig and we've had this thing and I've used it a few times like when I've had someone over and I wanted to make a whole thing of coffee but honestly if I really wanted to make coffee for like four or more people I have this big French press that I could do or four different people could go and use the K-cup thing or the Nespresso machine I mean we really don't have guests over that much at least not uh, in this COVID era that we're living in right now so back to the Nespresso thing. So John came home yesterday and he's like, hey, I have a surprise for you. And I'm like, what? What do you have? So he shows me this big box, which is the Nespresso machine. And I'm like, like, I've never asked for this. Like, I'm not mad about it, but I've never asked for this. So I was like, whose present is this really? So he's been going over to one of the other campuses. And at that campus, they have like a industrial business version I guess of the espresso machine and he's been getting copies there and their PTL pays for the machine their PTL pays for the copy pods and um, they got the hookup over there <laughs> and I was talking about how like oh like I love my school but at my school we have like I think it's like a hand-me-down Keurig and lately there's been K cups but there's definitely been times where it's like you go to make yourself a coffee and there's no cups left because they've been out for a while so it's like two different levels, but he was just telling me how like their machine is so good, the espressos are so good, and so I thought it was really funny that after him telling me that, like within a couple of days, he comes home with the machine and says that it's a gift for me. <laughs> we know who it's really for, John. Um, but I ain't mad. I really like it. I don't know. There's like it came with a variety box. I really wanted to make one, but then I didn't know which one I wanted to make. And then it's a variety, so I didn't want to make one that I know that John wanted. So I ended up just making myself a K-cup because I know he doesn't want this. <laughs> you guys, that's just how I am. So I'm gonna drink my K-cup in my cute little corgi mug. And I need to do, I know, let's say it together. I need to do some schoolwork. Not as good as the espresso. Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on and end the vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.